hello everyone in this video I'm gonna talk about uh, YAML uh, versus the classical editor so in the last video so far uh, we have uh, created a pipeline with the classical editor as well as with the uh, YAML file so when to use when well it totally depends but personally uh, when uh, Azure DevOps uh, was created you can create the pipeline only with the classical editor uh, but recently uh, YAML is introduced in the Azure pipelines and it is the uh, newer way where you can define the pipeline as code and in the YAML form format and you can also commit uh, the YAML file into your repo so also uh, YAML uh, Azure DevOps uh, assist you or help you to create and modify the pipeline so if we talk about uh, the classical UI uh, you don't need to uh, you know uh, some domain specific language uh, to uh, you know to create the pipeline and you don't need any uh, you know development background if you are uh, some you have some admin background you can definitely play with the uh, classical editor and it, it is very easy to uh, change and it you can change very quickly you don't need to go to the file and then uh, type something or you know then change and then commit you just open the classical editor and you know what where if you know where to change just change and save it but uh, also it does not uh, it have some you know uh, versioning also uh, but uh, I'm not really sure about it but this thing is you know uh, the classical editor is now depreciated so if you have seen that whenever we click on the new pipeline it shows the option of the YAML and if you want to uh, uh, create with the classic editor then you need to click on it but on the main page they are showing you know the YAML as a prominent uh, thing that's why because the uh, classical editor is now depreciated and uh, it will become lower and lower in Microsoft priority uh, when it comes to you know the new feature and if we talk about you know the YAML things yes it is a code and uh, it's managed as a source code the one benefit is if you change something in the YAML you can compare it uh, very easily with the you know uh, what exactly the changes were previously and now but in the UA edit in the classical editor if you have something change it's very difficult to you know uh, compare that what exactly it was previously was because in uh, YAML it's uh, you know its file is managed as a you know as a repo and uh, whenever you change it you can see their history also uh, uh, you can manipulate it yes you need some information about the YAML uh, you need some you know uh, uh, some assistant that I'll that my Azure DevOps assist you how to change it and uh, but it is currently not as mature as classical UA but I think there are many many features available in it uh, if you are uh, so personally I, I would say that uh, if you are creating your new project go for the uh, YAML if you don't have information about the YAML then you can use the uh, classical editor if you don't have any information and for the simple you know simple pipelines you can go with the classical editor but f for the complex pipelines I would say go with the YAML because uh, Microsoft priority is a YAML and it will provide more future in, in the YAML but I think in the future I'm not really sure when in the future classical editor is not depreciated and they will not add 
more future features in it okay so and you need you are the person and you need to select the right thing but I just explained that what's uh, what exactly the you classical editor and what exactly the YAML to create the pipeline so that's it for this video I'll see you in the next video thanks and bye bye